Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about trellising. Today's January 4th, unseasonably warm here, 65 degrees, perfect day to get out in the garden, think about redesigns, and one great way to redesign your garden is to grow vertically. You'll be able to grow more plants, you'll be able to harvest more. If you want to subscribe, I'm going to be talking about shade cloth. That's right there. It's been sitting there over the winter. Shade cloth is a wonderful way to extend the season so that you can grow your cool crops longer. And it's a great way to protect your warm crops from the heat of the summer. And I will show you how to use that. That is related to the trellising here because shade cloth can be just dropped across this trellis here. Keeps the soil cooler. You grow your cool weather crops longer also protects the soil when that 100 degree uh, summer heat shows up and it warms up the soil too much and maybe your tomato plants shut down. So let's just start in here with different trellising ideas. Of course you got your basic post stake for vertically growing your tomatoes. Tomatoes are designed in nature to grow across the ground the uh, vines root in different places, you get a stronger plant. But if you don't grow your tomatoes vertically, they'll take up a ton of space. I like using this concrete wire mesh. You can get this at your big box stores. You can use any kind of wiring for fencing. It goes right into the bottom, fits the curve of this raised bed. The bottom is open and then you put in the soil and I grow peas up here and other vining crops, cucumbers. This is a little bit harder to find. People keep asking me, well, where do you get it? So this is a masonry product um, just called ladder mesh. It's for putting siding on house, putting different things on the sides of the house, etc. Big box stores. Sometimes they don't carry it. Uh, maybe you have a masonry shop near you, store, you can find it. But this is just very flexible, 10-foot pieces. And I grow peas up this. I'll grow other plants inside of there, letting the peas shade the plants. I also use the design here for when I'm growing crops, the insects are coming in in the spring and summer, I put ag fabric over them and it creates a nice dome and protects my plant so I don't have to use any kind of sprays, chemical or organic. Otherwise, I don't want to be spraying onto my plants. Notice these come from, you know, the big box stores. You can walk through the aisles of Home Depot, Lowe's, um, other stores similar to that and find different materials that you can repurpose for trellising. That's really the cheapest way to build trellises because if you go to a garden themed store, try and buy trellising stuff, usually you pay a lot more money. So, you know, walk the aisles of Home Depot or Lowe's, see what you can find. In my last video, I showed you how to get these beds prepped for the spring and I just wanted to show you if you watch the alfalfa pellet video, I'll link that in the video description. It rained here yesterday. So these pellets, I talked about how they absorb the water and then they just flake away. This will be exactly what this does here. Animals aren't going to eat this because it's flaking up and it's starting to mix into the soil. Of course, if you have fencing, this becomes a trellis. Cucumbers, any kind of vining crop, peas would go right into here. Container gardening, sometimes that can be a little bit more of a challenge to figure out how to grow vertically in there. But in this, this is a 100 gallon root pouch, which I don't sell anymore. I do sell these 50 gallons. You can, you can also put the concrete mesh into the fabric pots. I'm actually gonna be digging these out and putting in that wire mesh all the way around there. If you're gonna use fencing, you want the fencing to be about four feet wide. That's gonna come around almost the whole circumference of the container, but I'll be able to reach in and these larger holes, that's what you're looking for. It's easy to reach into there and tend to the plant. So beans, cucumbers, um, peas, etc., can be grown up there. And again, when I have that fencing or that mesh around here, I can drop shade cloth over it and protect the cooler crops from the heat of the sun that's coming in later spring. And then I can also protect the warm crops from overheating and shutting down, which is pretty cool. I've been doing that for the last couple of years and I can really extend my season cool to warm and I can really continue production with the warm weather crops by protecting them with the shade cloth. These are for tomatoes. I got these years and years ago. What I like doing with these is exactly what's remaining here. I can grow peas right up them in this container. It works well. I also use tomato uh, supports for growing peas in the smaller containers. You can also set this up so in theory 
you could grow kale in a smaller pot like that and then right next to it you could grow peas up here so again by growing vertically you're maximizing the space in this small container fabric pot growing kale growing peas just by growing vertically or trellising let's walk over in this direction and you'll see the th basic themes are repeated throughout my garden a vertical tower perfect way to grow vertically those are filled with strawberries that's what I like using my vertical towers for herbs strawberries growing peppers and leafy greens this is a setup I've shown several times and this is what you could do again at the big box stores this is fencing it's four feet wide you can get it in any size roll that you want these are U posts that go in there and you just drop the fencing on so you can build you know a fence basically right along some of your rectangular beds grow whatever you want to grow up here I'm growing butternut squash any vining crop is all you're really thinking about what can I grow upward instead of it taking space coming across this is again the concrete mesh and you can see the different design options some of my favorite things to use are closet shelving you can find these sometimes at garage sales on sale even on the side of the road this one has to be fixed up a little bit a t-post it's a little more solid than the u-post that I just showed you these can get kind of heavy the closet rack itself is not heavy but as you're growing crops up it I were growing uh, beans up this it can get heavy so you want a solid post in here secure the closet rack to this and this is I think 10 feet tall a lot of space in a little kind of one foot by one foot footprint and you can find these at Home Depot and Lowe's I am not associated with them I wish I were maybe I could make some extra money you just go to the closet section or the reorganizing section of these big box stores and see what you can find to repurpose. These have been here, I took these from my other home, so these are going on maybe year six or seven, so they last a long time. Here are the shorter versions of the wire racks that you use for closets, and this is where I typically grow cucumbers. Because they're smaller, I'm just using a wood post here. You know, you don't need as much support. Perfect way to grow a wall of cucumbers. My favorite, really, trellis is cattle panel. I think these, I don't remember now, but I think they're four feet, yeah, they're four feet wide, 16 feet long. You do need a truck or you need some help getting them back to your house. I get mine at Tractor Supply Company. They don't deliver. I grew beans up here that are being saved and dried for seeds now. These actually go in my wooded area. I'm gonna try and grow beans, you know, randomly throughout my wooded property where the sun hits in there. So, this is the trick. The southern sun comes in this way and tracks out this way so that when the sun is up, this is getting hit by the sun. This year, aside from being able to grow vertically, I've grown tomatoes up this, butternut squash, beans obviously, anything, cucumbers. I'm gonna be trying to grow broccoli and cauliflower this year in this space. And because I'm in Maryland, we go from cooler weather to warm weather pretty quickly. And the spring broccoli and ca um, cauliflower don't form nice heads. They want to flower, they want to seed because it gets too warm. I'm going to be able to lay that shade cloth that you saw in the beginning of the video across here. It will cool down the soil. It will cool down the plants when it begins to warm. And I think I'm going to be able to get later spring broccoli and cauliflower here. If not, I have to plant it towards uh, the end of summer and I get fall um, broccoli and cauliflower, which is great, but I would rather get it for two seasons. Again, the cattle panel is in a rectangular bed. It's just secured any way that you can. This is actually just secured by being dropped in between those two beds. And then over here, I just use little posts to secure it. And this will stay perfect rainbow, flexible, moves in the wind, never gonna go anywhere. All kinds of uses for that. In the design here, it's the same size cattle panel, but it's only covering a four foot space. So it makes this beautiful tall eight foot arch. U posts on the outer side, you just drop it in. It supports and you can grow whatever you want and have a tunnel to walk into. I just added this one this year. Again, going in the same shape 
And I think these are maybe six feet across or six feet or eight feet, can't remember, have to measure them. Creates a nice arch. I'll be growing tomatoes in here. When the heat of summer comes and the soil temperature gets to 100 degrees, the temperatures get into the upper 90s and 100s, tomatoes can stop producing. I'm going to be putting the shade cloth over here. It will cool the soil at the high heat of my summer. The tomato production should still continue. This is wire. It's a little bit chaotic because I bent that post when I put in the cattle panel. But this is another way to trellis. You just put in your posts, your stakes, all the way across, and then you just take wire across there. I like to use the wire because it lasts for a long time. You can use string, but you're gonna have to replace it. So when this is set up correctly, this is all nice and tight, just like that, and I can grow whatever I want. I was actually doing a tomato weave through here. So you can trellis plants in different ways you know, just depending on what you want to design. Basic stakes in there for my tomato plants. Spinning around this way, another use of the cattle panel. I had cucumbers on the left, beans on the right. Couple raised beds that are six feet, about. And I just dropped the cattle panel into that raised bed. It springs out, pushes against the wood, put in the amendments, the soil, etc., and this will stay in place forever and it's just a nice way again to grow and I will have the option of shading this if I want to grow some cooler crops in here and I tend to grow radishes and spinach in here longer because they can be protected the other strategy too is like you can grow cucumbers up this side the leaves will create natural shade in here for other plants that like the cooler weather and you don't have to use the shade cloth this is something I built. I have a full video on it. This is just deck railing you can get at the big box stores. Put together with a hinge. It opens and closes. And I just keep it, you know, right over my raised bed here. Old ladders work really well. This is the wire mesh. Again, the ladder mesh. And you can see how tall it is. And I just weave it through a stake put it in the ground, and then this is plenty of support for growing whatever vine crops you want to grow up there. And you can create all kinds of designs, just using basic wood stakes, you know, and you can sculpt a little bit. I like this design. They're just put into the ground, tied together here with some wire so they don't come apart. And then you would just put string along here and grow whatever you want to grow up that. A fun way to also have a way to trellis, these are sunflower stalks. Your sunflowers, you know, you get them in the ground in May, they get large. Middle of summer, end of summer, you can start growing beans and other crops up sunflowers. So the trellising doesn't always have to be done with things that you buy. Couple, you know, crazy designs. I didn't even use this last year. I'll probably move it. But you can get PVC pipe. And then you just get some of these iron stakes to put in there. You can get those at the big box stores too. And you put them into the ground, put the PVC on, and you can kind of shape whatever you want. I kind of use this, or used to use it, to build a hoop house. You can see that this piece makes a perfect hoop. And then I would put another one about three feet there, make another hoop, and I could cover over it. So you can design a hoop house using PVC plastic, you know, probably 12-inch wrought iron stakes to put into the ground and you can just build that however you want to fit your structures like i would realistically stick um, a metal post right there and then bend the hoop this way and i could do one two three four hoops cover this over with plastic and i have a little you know way to uh, extend my growing season later into the fall early into the winter because plastic over this will keep this a whole lot warm warmer i see a rabbit trapped in here as we're walking around here is another way that i set up some vertical growing u posts and then this metal wire going all the way across this is really being used for my asparagus because asparagus will get four feet five feet six feet tall when you let it grow you got to let it grow through the summer Weave it in here, keeps the asparagus in place, but you could put in extra posts in the middle so that this firms up and you could grow vertically up here. It's not really expensive. 
This is galvanized uh, wire for electric fencing. Get that at Tractor Supply and you can get spools of it for not a lot of money. So it works really well and this wire will stay here forever. That's the general idea and you can see different designs. I have a whole collection of stakes and posts and stuff over there that I use for creating as I need to in a garden. This is a double tunnel, two pieces of cattle panel supported with a T-post or with a U-post right there. And I also designed this. This is just two by fours spaced out so that I can pop in the cattle panel. This would actually pop out and it's easy to take apart and collapse if I need to. But you get the idea for the design. Those are blackberry brambles that kind of move their way over from the fruit garden over to here. I'm going to keep them in there. But you get the idea that you can grow vertically in so many different ways. Here's a quick addition of some T-posts right in there, some basic wire fencing, and you just build your your trellis. Design it how you wish. Strategy-wise, so we are now facing west, south. Southern sun is the most powerful, tracks this way. You can create the design as you wish, like this piece of cattle panel is rainbowed so that it would protect this area from the sun. The soil will stay cooler. The trellis here is set up to go north-south so as the sun is coming this way it's maximizing um, well as the sun is coming this way the sunlight is maximized so it hits the entire area in here so this doesn't really produce a lot of shade because the southern sun is right where I'm standing now and maximum sunlight comes in here and then you switch to this way again this is going to get maximum sunlight right in there. Here's this is a little A-frame. So I got this at a local hardware store and these are perfect for trellising. They collapse, you open them up and you can just grow however you want. You can do a wider stance like I just had there or you can pull them in closer and you can grow up one side, down the other, will save you space to grow vertically. So the design here with this cattle panel, maximum sun comes into here some shade and protection will be on this side if this had cucumbers growing up it so you would protect the crops there a little bit from the sun so the angles really don't matter it's really up to you how you want to set up your garden how you want to use the tracking sun through the sky how you want to use the shade that's cast from your vertical uh, your trellises that are growing vertically again and here would be an example the sun will come right into here light this all up cucumbers do really well cucumber wall comes up here i can grow things in containers that are going to be shaded a bit from the cucumbers when they're growing hope you enjoyed the video i do recommend on these freakishly warm winter days walk your garden think about redesigns trellising is a great way to just grow more and save space my next video is going to talk about how to use this shade cloth to extend the season of your cool crops, how to protect your warm crops. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and think about trellising. You'll really enjoy kind of the creative structures that you can put into your garden.